so now we are going to go through the steps of removal and before you start removing we have our, our drip running uh, it can be normal saline running and then you check and ensure there's no more bleeding and then you take your vitals again the blood pressure and the pulse rate so what's our blood pressure right now 123 out of 87 so you can use the rule of 100 or the rule of 20 whichever your covers aren't with so the rule of 100 you um your blood pressure should not drop below 100 uh, millimeters of mercury and your uh, pulse rate should not increase beyond 100 beats per minute from what you have taken before you start removing if you're using the rule of 20 your blood pressure should not drop by more than 20 millimeters of mercury from the baseline that you've taken and your pulse rate should not increase by more than 20 beats per minute from the baseline that you've taken before you started removing so the choice is yours or whether to use the rule of 20 or the rule of 100 the whole point is your systolic blood pressure should not be more than your pulse rate at any one point of removal because that is what gives you what we are calling the shock index and this is the anti-shock gamut so at any one point your systolic blood pressure should not be more than your pulse okay so we start removal from where you started application and in between each segment you wait for 15 minutes of redistribution take the blood pressure and the pulse and then you move to the next segment so we don't rush you know that removal is going to take another 45 to an hour so we remove segment two okay we remove starting from where we applied first segment two we wait for 15 minutes and then we take our blood pressure and the pulse okay how are you feeling she's okay we are not bleeding the caution here is you wait 15 minutes between each segment for redistribution to happen before you take the vitals okay so we are assuming we've taken the 15 minutes 120 okay our pulse is below 100 we are using the rule of 100 and our blood pressure is more than 100 so we can move to segment three Okay, so you remove per segment, not per side, like we are doing. Segment three, we wait 15 minutes. Again, we take our blood pressure and the pulse. We're using the rule of 100. One twenty-one eighty-six. One pressure. Okay. Pulse rate 68. Okay, we see that our pulse is dropping, 68, so we are still below 100. So supposing our, our blood pressure had dropped to 90, we would put back all the segments, 3 and 2, and then increase the IV fluid flow. Okay, we check for bleeding, we palpate the uterus, but our, our vitals are stable, so we are going to continue and remove uh, segment 4. Segment four, again, 15 minutes of waiting for redistribution, and then we take the vitals again. Yes. Check on our patient. How is she feeling? Okay. Right. Right, patient is even smiling. All right, so we'll remove our last segment, and we document our final vitals. All right. The uterus is well contracted. Alright, so we take our vitals.